Hi everyone, it's Diane Hall, author, medium, channel, angel intuitive, singer, songwriter and thank you very much for coming to this uh, message and um, this is the week of the 16th of May 2016 so the number that I've given from the little, uh, been given from the little book of daily guidance is number 79 and the message is release the past and it says today a door is waiting to close so that something new can be revealed to you. New attitudes and self-esteem are waiting to be embraced. Allow yourself to let go of the past, at least in your heart and mind. Wow, there's so much in that already. So this is gonna be a week when we really do have to start closing those doors to the past that tell us that we don't deserve it, or we can't do it, or it's out of our reach because of who we are, where we came from, what we look like, any of those things. Um, it's time to just let go of all of that, and it's, uh, it makes it sound so easy, but it really is time to look within our consciousness and to find out what is that door? Where is it? Why is it there? What is it that we need to say goodbye to? What is it that we need to just let go of once and for all? What is that bit of consciousness that we that is no longer serving us, that is not helping us to move forward as the light beings that we are, the courageous beings, the wonderfully gifted, talented and uh, generous beings that we are, that we came here to be, that we so long to be? Okay, so... Allow yourself to let go of your past, of the past, at least in your heart and mind. So that means, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to change a physical, practical uh, situation or reality. Sometimes it just means you have to change the way that you see that situation. So it says release codependent attitudes and mindsets and see yourself as bolder and stronger than you are. So stop trying to please everyone is what this is saying. You know, being loving doesn't necessarily mean that you make everyone happy all the time. Sometimes the most loving thing you can do is say, this is my vision, this is my mission, and this is what I came here to do. And therefore, if you're not loving and supporting me in doing that, then you're not really loving me. So in order for me to do that and to love me, I'm gonna have to stop putting my energy and my attention into you for now. So you might find that you have to do that with someone or something, some people around you, or even a situation, whether it's a job that's just, you know, hollow and empty or you know some other vision or mission or a place or a, a series of attitudes again this is the week when you need to stop giving energy to the things that are not in alignment with your mission with your vision stop being codependent with them stop trying to please them and come into your own heart and get very very you know stoked up about who you are and what you came here to be so and, how, and allow this to make you more courageous and stronger than you actually believe yourself to be. Because sometimes when we become weak, it's because some of our energy of self, uh, you know, where we're lacking self-belief, we allow ourselves to get distracted into taking care of other people and what they think is right for us and what they want or what they seem to want. And we can use that as an excuse. They don't have any power over us that we don't give them. So it's time to take our power back by actually being honest with ourselves about deciding to be who we came here to be and letting go of the past that tells us that we have to please everyone. The past attitudes, the past child behaviour, the inner child, you know, the wounded parts, any part of you that is still telling you that you're not allowed to be yourself and who you came here to be has to go this week. Okay, so, dare to dream bigger and braver, begin to think and plan for self-sufficiency, then you will begin to see a glimmer of the glorious new possibility you wanted all along. So, 
Some of us have become distracted and where we've become confused about what we want or why we're here or where we're going, sometimes it's because we're picking up on the energy of other people and what they think is right for us because we don't believe that we can stand tall and stand in our power and do what we came here to do. And then suddenly, when you reclaim that power, you have the energy, you have the self-belief and you find that you have the tools and the ability to be your own self-supporting, self-sufficient mechanism, being, person, thing, <laughs> consciousness, okay? So that's what this week is all about. It's about releasing the past and letting go of old beliefs and situations and um, possibly people who are not being loving and supportive. And if you feel that that's too much of a stretch, too much of a leap, don't focus on letting go of them or of it. Focus on saying yes to you, because really it kind of sounds like the same thing, but when you're letting go of something, sometimes you're still giving energy to it by saying, I need to let go of you because you're not good for me. If you really want to be empowered, just go inside and say, right, I need to hold on to you because you are good for me. And that you is the inner light, the divine light that is shining through you in every moment, showing you the way forward. And you can call it self-belief, you can call it God, source, guardian angel, you can call it being aligned, you can call it the truth, you can call it the truth of your life, you can call it the way, the path, but it's still the same thing. It's your essence and the essence of who you came here to be. Okay, so I'm going to shuffle. Choose a card from The Secret Language of Colour by Inner Seagull because I do feel that this is a shift that needs to happen in our energy field. And uh, I just dropped a whole bunch of cards there and I feel like they're all very important. Um, but I'm not going to pick them out as a message because um, sometimes you just drop things. <laughs> okay, so what is it that we need? What's the adjustment that we need to make in our energy field to help us? to let go of the past, to come into full consciousness and awareness of who we are in the now, in the new that we are creating. Thank you, Archangel Michael. Okay. Experience peace and calm. So, some of us have become off balance because we're not having enough space to get back into the center of who we are. If you find that you're caught up in someone else's world or the world of some other work or way of being, you know, the workplace consciousness, the politics, the ideas, or if you're caught up in the consciousness of the world because, you know, you're um, watching too much TV or, or listening to the news too much or you're connecting too much with the 3D grid, Step away from anything that is overly preoccupying you, that is not a part of this divine essence and truth. Take time to meditate or just to get quiet, to sit quietly and to be really honest with yourself about what the things are in your life that you need to release and let go of. And come away from the noise, step away from the noise find peace and balance, go for a long walk if you need to, remove yourself from the situations that are crazy and busy or that keep drawing you back into the same experiences time and time again. Sometimes the way to do that is to just find a peaceful place to sit quietly. At some point this week or maybe at the weekend, go for a long walk, go and sit in a park and just connect with yourself and just ask for guidance. When we're out in nature, we can clear our minds, clear our thoughts much more easily, we can clear our energy and we're not, if we're empathetic, we're not picking up so much on all of the emanations and radiations and thoughts of others, especially those we're very closely connected to. So find a way this week to separate yourself for a couple of hours and to just find the peace and balance that's going to show you, re-educate you about who you are, what you need to focus on and what you might need to let go of in terms of perceptions or realities or activities, people, places, things, perceptions. All right, I'm just going to take one more card from the top and see what else we, we need to support us in our journey towards the truth, I just heard. Lovely, very nicely put. Live an extraordinary life. That's a beautiful message. So 
don't hold back now. Don't be afraid to do something that's different, that you might have been told in the past is beyond you. You can't do it because of who you are, <laughs> because of what you've been through, what you've experienced, how you're perceived or how you perceive yourself. For some, this will be the idea or the piece of the past that needs to be released. The piece that keeps telling you that you cannot or do not deserve to live an extraordinary life, that it's not possible for you. So let this energy support you in your quest to find the peace and balance that will bring you back to yourself. Focus on the extraordinary life that you're creating and Notice, let it bring sharply into your awareness all the reasons why you have to let go of the past, why it no longer serves you, because it's very much out of keeping with these things. If you cannot find peace and balance within that context of the past, and if you cannot keep a view of an extraordinary life, then it has to go. It's time to shift. It's time to start creating a, a path out. And um, I was just about to pick another card, but they're saying to me, that's enough. That's enough for us to be contemplating. That's enough for us to focus on for this week. So have a fantastic week, everyone. And I will see you next week. If you would like to book a reading with me or a mentoring session or some energy clearing or healing or anything like that, click on the link below the video and um, check out my website and uh, you can book there. If you would like to have some mentoring with me, I'm still running my free sessions, so please, um, yeah, you know all the details. All right, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you again next week. Have a great week. Bye.